Good morning, kids. It is Monday, November 30th. It's the last day of November. Tomorrow it will be December 1st, but today we are going to work on some word problems. Um, sorry that the school is not open today. We have to follow all of the Ministry of Education's orders, so we will be closed for a little while, but you kids should all have your uh, math workbooks. So um, I'm just going to start reviewing the homework today because I've already had some questions about how to do these um, word problems. This, these can be confusing, so don't worry if you don't know all of these answers. Just make sure that we are following the steps that we practiced in class, okay? So step one, which you can all do, is pull out all of the good information that we see. Okay, so I'm going to start, uh, sorry, this is page 59 in your workbook, um, and let's just start with number one here and see what happens. All right, get out my pencil here. Okay, um, let's see. Factory A produces, that means makes, factory A produces 326 dresses a day. Factory B produces 107 more dresses than factory A. All right, then the questions we are answering, how many dresses does factory B produce in a day? How many dresses do the two factories produce in a day? All right, and here's our wonderful reminder. Remember to use the four steps to solve the problem. So what are our four steps? All right, uh, step number one should be getting all this information, okay? So it appears we have two factories. We have factory A and factory B. I'm just gonna call them A and B. All right, and we know that factory A makes 326. All right, and factory B produces 107 more than factory A. All right, so I'm gonna start, I'm gonna make a model here. Uh, factory B produces 107 more. So we know how much factory A makes. Factory A makes 326. And we know that factory B makes 107 more. And the word more is keying me into the fact that this is an addition problem, okay? All we need to do is plus, plus, plus. We just need to do 326 plus 107. And that will let us know how many dresses factory B makes, okay? So here's my model. Um, Part A here says, how many dresses does factory B produce in a day? Okay, now I'm just going to do 326 plus 107. And let's see what the answer is here. Six and seven is 13. Carry the one, two plus one is three. And uh, three plus one is four. So we have a grand total of 433 dresses. And also make sure uh, you are using a unit of measurement, okay? Meaning, what are we measuring? What are we trying to figure out, okay? The answer is not just 433, it is 433 dresses. So with these word problems, sometimes we're counting dresses, sometimes we're counting books, sometimes we're counting money, okay? Make sure you know what you're counting. All right, so we know that factory B has 433 dresses or makes 433 dresses a day. All right, next it says, how many dresses do the two factories produce in a day? Okay, so once again, I'll go back and refer to my model. And now I'm gonna go like this. And I'm gonna add a question mark to my model because we don't know how many uh, dresses they both make in a day. 
So, but I know that uh, factory A makes 326, and I know that factory B makes 433 now. So, what am I going to do? Well, I'm just going to add these numbers together. I have 326 dresses from factory A, and I have 433 dresses from factory B. So, let's add them together. Six and three is nine. Two and three is five. And three and four is seven. So my big, big number for both factories is that they make 759 dresses in one day. All right, and uh, make sure you write dresses. I am not going to because it takes too long, okay? So am I finished? Well, I think I should check my work because that is step four, okay? Step number one, figure out all the relevant information, okay? Take all the information we know and just write it out. Step two, make yourself a model, okay? Draw a picture of what you need to know. It will help you imagine and visualize what the problem is asking you. Step three, try to solve the problem. And step four, we want to check our answers. Always, always check because especially with word problems, sometimes uh, we do them incorrectly. And if we don't check, how are we going to know? Okay. So, um, and yes, also checking will help you see your mistakes. If you make any mistakes, checking your answers is a good idea. So, um, we know that um, factory A makes 326. And we know that factory B produces 100 more. So 433, let's just check this out. 433 minus uh, 107 we should end up with 326. Okay, so I'm going to borrow three. So this changes to a two, 13 minus seven is six, two minus zero. Okay, so it appears that yes, we have done our math correctly here. Um, and next I'm just gonna check uh, 759, which was our big total, minus 433. Checking only takes a second, nine minus three, and it will help you out, five minus three, seven minus four. All right, so we're back at 326. It looks like all of our math is correct, and we should move on. Problem number two, let's check it out. All right, number two, Muna or Muna, I am not sure how to pronounce that, uh, Muna bought four similar chairs at $384. Reina bought nine such chairs from the same shop. How much did Reina pay for the nine chairs? All right, well, let's see how to do this. So what do we know from this problem? We know that four chairs cost $384. Um, and we know that Reina is buying the same kind of chairs here, okay? Um, so yeah, we know that all these chairs are the same and we're trying to figure out how much she paid for nine chairs. So the first thing I wanna do here, now that I have all for my information, I am going to figure out how much one chair costs. So I'm just gonna call each unit X, okay? You will see the term X a lot once you start doing algebra. And this is a bit of algebra here that we're doing. So um, let's see, this is my nine chairs. Wow, that is big. So one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, 
8 and 9, okay? X, 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 X. Oh, this is many, many X's. Okay, so here's my not so well drawn model or my image. Um, we are trying to figure out, ah, we know that this, we know that this equals 384. We do not know how much nine chairs is. That is what we're trying to figure out. So let's look at what we do know. We know that four chairs cost $384. Um, so the first thing we should do is try and figure out the amount that one chair costs. So I'm going to divide 384 by four chairs. We have four chairs. We know that four costs 384. So if we divide by four, then we should have the answer for how much one chair is, okay? Three is smaller than four. So I'm gonna use these first two digits to divide by, okay? The closest thing, um, and also if you wanna put a zero up here, that will help you make sure you line up these numbers properly, okay? Four times nine here is about as close as I'm gonna get to 38 on my multiplication table. So four times nine is 36, and then I'm going to subtract out. We should end up with two. All right, then I'm going to bring down my next number. All right, now I have 24. All right, so six times four is 24. And then we're gonna wind up at zero here once we subtract. Okay, so six times, I'm sorry. So now what do I know? Am I finished yet? No, I am not because it says, how much did Raina pay for the nine chairs? That is a number I don't have yet. But what I do have is, 96. I know it costs $96 for one chair. Okay. So I'm going to write that down here. One chair. We'll just call it CH because it is very difficult to write with this pencil. Okay. So one chair costs $96. We want to know how much nine chairs cost. So what should I do here? All right. Well, I'm going to take, uh, whoopsie, I'm going to take 96. I'm going to multiply this time, okay? 96 times nine, because we know one chair is $96. We wanna know the cost of nine. So let's multiply by nine. Six times nine is 54. And let's carry the five over here. And nine times nine is 81 plus five is 86. Put our six here, we would carry this eight. However, there are no more numbers. Okay, now I have 864. So this is my answer for nine chairs. Is my answer missing anything? Yes, yes, yes it is. Okay, make sure you know what you're counting. This time we are counting dollars here. Okay, so make sure you have a dollar symbol in front of your answer. It costs $864. All right, let's move on to problem three. Oh, you know what teacher forgot to do? Check my answers. Okay, so uh, let's go back. If we divide 864 divided by nine, it should equal 96. I just wanna make sure 864 divided by nine. Okay, so we have uh, a zero here. I'm gonna do nine times nine is 81. And we should end up with a five here and then 54, which is nine times six. Okay, so I know my math is correct here, all right? And now I can move on.
There we go. Problem three.